In the quiet town of Ely, Minnesota, nestled among sprawling pine forests and glistening lakes, lived a kind-hearted resident named Sarah. Sarah had always had a soft spot for animals, often feeding strays and volunteering at the local animal shelter. One warm summer evening, as she strolled through a car lot near her home, she heard faint, desperate cries. Following the sound, she discovered a tiny, trembling kitten hidden beneath an old truck. The kitten, with its big, curious eyes and tufted ears, looked different from any domestic cat Sarah had ever seen. Gently scooping the kitten into her arms, she felt a surge of protectiveness and decided to take it home. Under the soft glow of her living room lamp, she noticed the kitten's wild features more clearly. Realizing this was no ordinary kitten, Sarah promptly contacted the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center of Minnesota. Early the next morning, Sarah drove to the center. The kitten nestled securely in a cozy carrier. The staff at the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center greeted her warmly, intrigued by her discovery. After a thorough examination, the veterinarian on duty confirmed that the kitten was indeed a bobcat, the first they had seen this summer. The bobcat kitten, likely separated from its mother, had been alone and vulnerable in the car lot. The center decided to admit the little bobcat, recognizing the urgency of its situation. Though dehydrated, the kitten was otherwise healthy, a testament to its resilience. Sarah felt a mix of relief and sadness as she handed over the kitten, knowing it was in good hands but already missing its playful antics. The bobcat kitten, now named Ember for its fiery spirit, quickly became a favorite among the staff. Under their care, Ember regained strength and vitality. The center's plan was to ensure Ember's well-being before transferring her to a specialized rehabber with expertise in bobcats, with the ultimate goal of returning her to the wild. Weeks passed, and Ember thrived, growing more robust and agile each day. She learned essential survival skills, gradually preparing for life in the wild. The day finally came when Ember was ready to move to the next phase of her journey. Sarah visited one last time to say goodbye, her heart swelling with pride and hope. As Ember was transferred to the specialized rehabber, Sarah felt a deep sense of fulfillment. She had played a crucial role in saving this beautiful creature, giving Ember a second chance at life. The Wildlife Rehabilitation Center continued to monitor Ember's progress, their hearts set on the day they would release her back into the forests of Minnesota where she belonged. In the years to come, Sarah often hiked through the woods, her eyes scanning the trees and trails. Every now and then she would catch a glimpse of a wild bobcat, and though she could never be sure, she liked to believe it was Ember, thriving in the wild, a testament to the power of compassion and the extraordinary journey of a little kitten found crying in a car lot.